Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I'm starting the my new course about the facade. I will show you how to create the simple facade like you can see right now. I will show you the techniques what you should use when you're creating the facade. We will create tons of different facades as you can see. So it not will be just one video. I will try to upload the video each week new facades, new panels, blah blah blah, whatever. So in the end you will clearly understand how to create different difficult facades it not will be problem for you to create in like hour anyway as a beam manager I will show you what you should for example follow to create beam model not just a model with the looks like facade or the just 3d facade we will create the beam facade with the all data what we need as the beam manager if you are ready for this course let's get started and we will start from the basic things right now Today I will start from the some simple tutorial, but this is will be the basic, this is will be our basement for the future tutorial. Anyway, all the materials for this tutorial you will always find below this video. So you will find the, this existing model. Also you will find the, some of the standards and you will find the template which is I will use. Of course you can use your own template. But if you want to follow me step by step, I recommend you download the my template my existing files and work with that it will be much easiest if you will be have the some question or if something will be wrong with your model so today we're gonna create some simple as you can see the facade which is uh, have the one store front uh, this is will be uh, not the business center this will be condominium apartments so we will create that one as you remember when we creating some facades in Revit we just using the our the wall which is we have here the curtain wall we're creating just curtain wall we're creating the full full height and that's it if to be honest it looks really terrible and not workable too much words let's start to create our first levels here my new file I already created the, the first level you can create any anything what you want today we just will be talk about the basic thing okay as you can see I have only two levels here so this is not so correct we need much more levels than we have it right now create the first go to the some elevation view and create some more levels I will just select it I will use the copy it and multiply it so we just now not care about the how many levels we have so I will create at least 10 our building will be not so not so small so as you can see at least 10 levels we have already i'm going back to the 3d view and here the one thing you're you directly see on the 3d view but if i will go back to the east view you will see uh, look here the first level and the my pad it's under the first level and the second level as you can see the my walls not going till the level who know how to architecture working i think they just skip this part who not who don't know such as students i will try to explain you your wall uh, should connect from the basement level to the next level and the your wall should be have the some top of sets as you can see why i'm doing the top of sets 200 because my floor it's they have the uh, thickness 200 millimeters so that's why when i will be copied the next level this gap will be here the my floor why we dividing it why we not creating it from the first level as the some people like to do to do till the end because we have the standard and finally for this tutorial i will use the uh, some standards i will reference to the standards and let's see why we cannot create for example for the whole levels let me I will go here here the standards from the client let me I will use the wall and as you can see give me a second where is the walls walls finishing no wall and partitions as you can see 38 so let's go to the 38 page here we are and first the modeling by floors so we will follow the standards and we not will do it from the first level to the end so we did everything correct and even here you can see your level it's here and under your level it's your construction part of your floor so it's also we did correct i did right now correct the first thing we already finished just create your own building as you want i create it like this you can just follow it if you want and we will continue 
As you understand, we should continue to create the level by level. But I can do it by two ways. I can do it manually. So I will just copy everything and like this. Just copy, paste and align to the level. Level 2, okay. Is it wrong? No. Is it useful? No. And as you understand, double nose, it's not so good. So what we can do? If I will change here, for example, the wall, it not will be changed here. So as you understand, not so useful. Yes, most of you already understand what I want to do. I want to create the group. By standards, I can use the group. So there are no any words about the group. It means if not any words, it means it's legal. Legal only when police there. Police not there. Habibi, everything legal. Okay, so let's create the group. We will create it. Here the assembly and here is the group. Let me click on the group. The first, the first rule about the group. You should write it correct. Not just a group one, 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 three, 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 or something like that. You should write it correctly. I should understand what is that. This is first, let's say, level group. So now I understand we have first and the second level are pretty same. And the group is also the call it like that. And also we can write like that. It just it just my some advice or oh, walls internal. So like that we understand. So in this group only the walls, for example. It just like an option. Let's say okay. So we have the group. Now we just select our group and let's copy and paste to the level two. Let's copy it to the level two. So here we are. And as you can see, it's really nice. Why we did that? Uh, I should show you, sorry guys, I'm spending your time, but I should show you. For example, here we have something and we want to change it. For example, uh, I don't know, here is the top offset will be not to me minus 200, it will be minus 500, let's say. And let's apply it. We did apply it, we say OK, and here immediately it's also changed. I don't know, here is the column, also the bulk maybe, or something else, doesn't matter. So, and as you can see, it's changing immediately. Of course, if uh, you have some unique situation, I mean, uh, you have something here, and, but it's not there, you just uh, remove uh, this part from the group, and you can do it, for example, change it rightly, like this. So, here it's not changing, but the main group is still here, as you can see. The main part it's here even this one it's also now can be changed instantly we will use the groups as you understand so i will back i will so now i have totally same two groups and we can continue as you understand i created only two two levels now we should create the level three and uh, till the end but it will be another group let me I will create it to make my life much easiest i will just select this group copy it and i will copy it to the next level level three but as you understand it will be another one here we are now i will ungroup it because i don't need this group now you can see all everything selected and i will group it again why i'm doing it like that because it's much easiest and now my group will be it's level three uh level three ten four level and also in internal walls internal wall okay so now it's another group this is one group this is the second group and i will go group okay so now everything okay now i'm inside to the group now let's select this part and i will change it i already have the some walls you will have also the in your template you will also have the same walls i will leave you there so it's nothing special and i will use this wall this is stacked wall as you can see the part on the base and part on the top now we can use just copy copy the type and we can copy it everywhere like this like one two three yes uh unjoin the elements for now we just will copy it like this like this like this and like this so and as you can see here will be our window inside so this is something like the limit for not will will fall down we can also do another thing we can for example cut our wall let me I will uh, as you can see i'm everything doing in the 3d it's you can do it like that and we can for example change it this one to for example for example to this wall let me i will change yeah to this wall well, let's say here the you have the smaller window and here you can fix it as you can as you want for example like this 
it's already just a game you're just playing as you want let me i will leave here like this and here i will do the same thing here i will also the cut here like this i will use the copy the type copy this type here yes let's leave it like that better to go to the plan and check everything but i'm lazy to do that and we will leave as it is for now we now just see how it's working on the base things now i will use a line because i want to align it and as you can see it's much terrible when you align the stack wall you should do it manually so i did it so everything correct and as you can see we already created the second level let me i will finish it uh third level i mean and let me i will copy this level till the from the level 4 till the level 10 let me I will copy it. it will takes a bit the time but as you can see we really fast creating and we already finished so sorry 10 level it's already not needed and here is our building so we created already something let's say like skeleton of our building now we are ready to go to the facade and create the facade as you can see we're not just creating the facade we are also creating the some basement structure for our facade so now time to create our facade. For this type of the facade, like I showed you before, we will use the just curtain wall. We already have the curtain wall, you also will be having your template the curtain wall. And let me will place it here. So better, as I said, go to the plan, because here as you can see it's really hard to uh, already draw it. I already have the some curtain wall here, you don't need to change anything inside in this curtain wall. You need just make your the size of the curtain wall right and first your question should we divide our curtain wall like we divided our walls by levels and let's go back to the standard we're going back to the standards and let's write the facades and as you can see here it's already facade and here the concept of the facades as you can see we should separate different types of the wall like internal one we should separate it make like separate walls and let's go here and as you can see here it's allowed to not divide the walls of the facade by floors but it performed several of the floors blah 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 so in our case like we have the uh, floor uh, i mean the facade we can not divide it so not will be divided if it's possible not to divide it we can just simply select our curtain wall and say go to the up to the level level 10 so it will go to the level 10 now it's really correct and the next thing what we should do we need just somehow to touch to the our building we are doing not actually the documentation i mean the, this is stage it's mostly like concept uh, even is, if it's uh, the stage uh, like a project you no need to create details things and uh, here the first problem you can see the my facade rotated on the wrong side so let's do just the space bar after that we can manually if you want of course or the use the align key to attach to the our building as you can see right now it's not so good because we have the mullions not uh, attach it to the our wall but it's already about the taste it's not about the taste actually it's about the architecture but today I'm just showing you how you can use for example the Revit to achieve your result with the facade so here we are we already finished our facade this is wrong because we should change the uh, step of the our mullions but first of all we should uh, change the other thing as you can see the level by level not dividing properly we actually i prefer go to the east facade and here is our facade as you can see but it's not right uh, we should i think the north let's check it no no yes this is what i want now we can work uh, much better with the our facade first of all what i want i want to divide the um, divide some somehow here a bit under the level if we will go back to the our 3d view where is our 3d view 3d view is here you will clearly see we should where is my line align my is here we should uh, just a bit make down the divider divider of this uh, facade let's do that as i understand uh, we should change this horizontal horizontal the mullion how we can do that now we can go to the edit type and change the spacing by horizontal one um, but here the problem because here i'm using the type already existing 3000 millimeters as you can see here so we should duplicate it be careful always with that we should duplicate it we should change here the naming uh, let's it will be 
2600 millimeters and I will delete the type 1 type 2 sorry let's OK and now we should change this number here and let's say OK and now you will see yes now you will see properly ways that should be we also should divide it somewhere here too because right now it's also not right so how you can do that you can just go to the architecture and you will find here the curtain grid and manually create the horizontal line so here will be our different panel because we want to hide say the our construction in the opposite side or maybe there will be some engineering system like this like in this part and you also want to hide it so this is really uh, useful for us so but actually the terrible thing you should do everything now manually i mean the uh, changing the space of the mullion but this is a facade you should work with that that's the reason why i prefer for example create uh, by levels because if we will finish for example our mullion here after that we just can copy and copy a uh, level by level so this is will be not a big problem look here also uh, let me will show you the back view when you creating your mullions you cannot see but properly but I will try to show you I will just try to hide these two mullions yeah and look here when you align it you align only the middle of this part so it's also so not so correct because it will be something like this so here will be something like a step it's not will be like that because you cannot join it between uh join the walls it's um, it's not possible actually it's possible but it's not correct it will be a bit higher or a bit here i think it will be a bit here but not like this but for us it's not now for about the construction but you should you should know that be careful with that because they will in detail as you know and we continue to create it so what we're gonna do next next we should uh, again we should connect it some way here so let's use the top key and it will be really noisy select this the curtain wall grid uncheck it use the align key and again it will be not so properly because it will be aligned under to the middle but i again as i say you can spend more time and fix it by yourself and yes uh, you should do it one by one better to control it because facade it's not it's not something what will be changed uh, like millions times after of course after you finish your concept uh, till you not finish your concept of course it will be changed like millions times and here as you can see it will be height a bit different because here the hour you can see construction part but here it's a bit smaller so better to control it by yourself so let me I will do a few more things and I will show you the end result now I already done as you can see I created what we want actually so it's here the second thing it's already optional it's uh, already like uh, under your design let's say up to your design now i will select the my oh, why is that oh my god i want to select the my curtain wall okay so and i want to actually the isolated so we isolated now i will select the middle part I, again it's already up to your optional i will select this panel and i will make it uncheck it and i will make it the solid one let me i will do the solid one and uh, yeah one by one like this better you can do it actually not like i'm doing right now you can select like this just like this let me will do it everything here and after that just filter it and use the panel uh, uncheck it and let's make the solid one so here's the solid one the mistake is here it's also not shouldn't be like that but the idea is same you should just go now to the plan let me go to the plan and just merge it here but i think it's merge it here it's much better much easiest uh, what we can do we can just select our curtain wall design we can go to the edit type and merge it here now i will just play around i will not will rename it but be careful with that don't forget to rename after you will happy with the result let me I will say it's 1200 millimeters it should be some here some way here oh um, it's such a close such a close it can be like that as you can see it's a really perfect state here but let's see another one here not here also not and this is a really terrible result for us one one or one out of ten let's say <laughs> say it will be like nine fun no it's it's too small 
1300 millimeters one for three yeah it's here it's here the fit here also the fit fit not fit and only one one out uh, let's say we're happy with this result but it's not actually it's not like that you should spend your time to merge it because it's not good for us maybe you should uh, do something with your uh, external walls but it shouldn't be like that but anyway now we don't have this small part on the left side and as you can see now facade looks a bit clear oh i forgot just one thing here uh, i will do with you right now it's here it's really fast uh, let me will place one of them let me will use the line again the wrong of tool for our idea but we don't have another choice let me I'll select everything and check check panels uh, don't forget uh, unpin it and use the another panel what you want uh, not glazed one I say it's solid one okay so now we got the clear facade what we want so as you can see this is uh let's say the 90 percent types of the facade of the business centers what we have like the glazed one this is pretty simple but don't forget this is pretty simple only for the design not for the you know working uh, drawings because the for the working drawings you should do more things but for us, for like the basic things, what I want to show you today, it's modern enough to start work with that one. And uh, yes, guys, it's not the finish because this file without the facade, you will find below this video. You will download it and you will do your homework. Your homework, finish this building all around. I don't need some special design, just all around. If you want to learn how to work in Quiz the Facade with me, you should do your homework. I not will check your homework. It's for you. You should uh, just try it because when you will stuck, you will find some questions and you will write the questions under the video and will try help to you. And like this, you will learn. You learning not from my knowledge. You learning from your mistakes. Not, not, not forget about that. Also, you will find below the standards, you can just check it out. Maybe you will find there something useful for you. But we will continue in the next video with the other facade, which is I already showed to you. Like we have like different options. No worries, we will try all of them. But what I not will do, I not will show you how to create the families. I think a lot of the people working in the, around the internet, you will find how to create the families easily around the internet. I will give you already mm, uh, final families. So with uh, what you can work, with what you can create, for example, this facade, you will see it all under the videos. Not m this one and the next one. So for today it's finished. I think you interesting this topic and if you are interesting, if you will be happy with that result, if you will force the my video, of course uh, I will to give you more and more knowledge about the facade in Revit. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial about the facade.